I really don't expect, uh, you know, the, the Labour Party to, uh, you know, to take as much votes from the PDP as people are suggesting. We could have seen it in the last elections in Austrian state. What is the performance of, of the Labour Party? This is a party that doesn't have a governor, doesn't have members of the National Assembly, doesn't have uh, state assembly members. And, 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 and politics in this country depends on the structures you have at these various levels, at the local government level, at the state level, and at the national level. So uh, it is very, very difficult to expect a miracle to happen, you know, simply because Peter Obi is uh, in, in, in the Labour Party. Well, two quick uh, follow-up questions. The first one is... After that, all, uh, they, they were saying... Uh, through the social media, they had more than one million votes in Ocean State. But how many votes turned out to, you know, to, to, to vote for, for, for Labour Party? And then again, uh, Mark, you, <coughs> you are talking about social media. In the North, 90% of our people are not tuned to social media. Hello, viewers and subscribers. This is Evil Television. That was... Uh former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the presidential candidates for the PDP in the forthcoming presidential election in 2023. He has just dismissed the Labour Party presidential candidates, Mr. Peter Obi, for the forthcoming presidential election that he is no force to reckon with, that he stands no chance for the forthcoming presidential election because elections are not won on the platform of uh, social media. He went further to say that uh, if P2B were to be so powerful and has so much voters awaiting to vote for him, that their performance in Ocean State just concluded a gubernatorial election has proved that he has no structure on ground. So this is the situation we are facing right now concerning the interview that uh, Atiku Abubakar had this morning with the Arise TV. And uh, these are some of the things he said. It's a long uh, interview, but we are picking it one after the other. We are going to be following up on this to bring you all the details of that interview. But for now, this is what we have right now. Subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button so that as soon as we drop the next update, you're going to be the first to know. Yes, Atiku Abubakar, just like I said before, is the PDP presidential candidate. And he is taking on... The Labour Party presidential candidate in the over the past few months, Mr. P2B has been rising in the media and the, even on offline. The profile of Mr. P2B has risen amongst the youths that crave for change in the Nigerian politics. And the youths have been campaigning seriously for Mr. P2B without being given a dime. From state to state, you see them youths championing the obedient group. Of course, presently, the obedient group has been hijacked by the masses. It's no longer a pit of beating, you know, as an individual. It is now being uh, bankrolled by the masses that wish to have a change in the Nigerian politics and the Nigerian uh, uh, political landscape. You know, we have had people like uh, Buhari, who is about to end his tenure in the uh, coming year. Nigerian youths have said that uh, it's not going to sit well with them for we to continue in this circle of uh, old leaders that has nothing to offer the country. This is why the obedient group that is the uh, 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 selling point of uh, or the brand of Mr. P2B has been rising. You know, the profile has been rising and uh, we expect to see more of this in the coming, uh, before the coming election years. So stay connected and stay subscribed as we bring more updates on this. Thank you for watching.